ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಮಾಹೆ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿಯ ಅಂಗಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಟಿ ಎ ಪೈ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಯೋಜಿಸಿದಂತಹ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೊಂಬತ್ತನೇ ಲೀಡರ್ಶಿಪ್ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ವಿದೇಶಾಂಗ ಸಚಿವರಾದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಜೈಶಂಕರ್ ಅವರು ಅಮೃತ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾರತ ಎಂಬ ವಿಷಯದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದರು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳನ್ನು ಉದ್ದೇಶಿಸಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ವಿದೇಶಾಂಗ ಸಚಿವರಾದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಜೈಶಂಕರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸ ನೀಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಗೌರವದ ವಿಷಯ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಮಾಹೆಯು ಸಂಶೋಧನೆ ಮತ್ತು ಆವಿಷ್ಕಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆಸರುವಾಸಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ಭಾರತವು ಕಳೆದ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಹಲವಾರು ತೊಡಕುಗಳನ್ನು ಎದುರಿಸಿದೆ ಇನ್ನು ಬರುವ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊಸ ಮೈಲಿಗಲನ್ನು ಸಾಧಿಸಿ ಮುಂದುವರೆದ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರವಾಗಿ ಮುನ್ನುಗ್ಗಲಿದೆ ಈ ಹಿಂದಿನ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷಗಳು ಇತಿಹಾಸವಾದರೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷಗಳು ನಿಮಗಾಗಿ ಕಾದಿವೆ ಅಂತ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಮಾಹೆ ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಂ ಡಿ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ ಮಾತನಾಡಿ ನಿಷ್ಠಾವಂತ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಯಾದ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ವಿದೇಶಾಂಗ ಸಚಿವರಾದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಜೈಶಂಕರ್ ಅವರನ್ನ ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸುವುದು ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಗೌರವದ ವಿಷಯವಾಗಿದೆ ಅವರು ವೃತ್ತಿ ರಂಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಪಡೆದಂತಹ ಅನುಭವವನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಸದುಪಯೋಗವಾಗಲಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದರು ಮಾಹೆ ಪ್ರೊ ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಬಳ್ಳಾಲ್ ಮಾಹೆ ನಿರ್ವಹಣೆ ಕಾನೂನು ಮಾನವಿಕ ಮತ್ತು ಸಮಾಜ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಮಧು ವೀರರಾಘವನ್ ಮಾಹೆಯ ಉನ್ನತ ಆಡಳಿತ ವರ್ಗದ ಸದಸ್ಯರು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತರಿದ್ದರು ಹಲವಾರು ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ಹಲವಾರು ಗಣ್ಯ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಗಳು ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸಗಳನ್ನು ಆಯೋಜಿಸುತ್ತಾ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ರತನ್ ಟಾಟಾ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಸಚಿವರಾದ ನಿರ್ಮಲಾ ಸೀತಾರಾಮನ್ ನಿತಿನ್ ಗಡ್ಕರಿ ಮತ್ತು ಇನ್ನೂ ಅನೇಕರು ಈ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸ ಸರಣಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾವಿರಾರು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಪಾಲ್ಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದರು ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಚಿವ ಜೈಶಂಕರ್ ಅವರು ಮಾಹೆಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೊಂದಿಗೆ ಸಂವಾದ ನಡೆಸಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿಕ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಶಂಕುಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಯನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ನೆರವೇರಿಸಿದರು lecture being organized by TFI Management Institute, TAPNI, a constituent group. Hello. ಸತ್ಯಪಾಲ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ 
Carrying forward the legacy of our founder, late Dr. DMFI, a visionary doctor, banker, and educationist, Mahesh continues his journey towards excellence following the core values, honesty, integrity, transparency, teamwork, and human touch in the true spirit of nationalism and to contribute to nation building. In line with this, it's our proud privilege to have amongst us today Dr. S. Jai Shankar, Honorable External Affairs Minister, Government of India, to deliver the 29th Leadership Lecture of TAPME on the topic of India in the Amrit Khas. Dr. Jai Shankar has served India with great distinction as a diplomat, ambassador, and presently as Minister of External Affairs. His wisdom, scholarship, and diplomatic skills are unparalleled under, under his dynamic leadership, he has taken Indian diplomacy to the next level with many heartbreaking initiatives. Sir, on behalf of our Chancellor, Dr. Ramdas Pai, President Mahetras, Dr. Ranjan Pai, Pro-Chancellor, Dr. H.S. Balal, and all the faculty and students of Mahe, I extend a very, very warm welcome to you, sir. To the research foundation. Distinguished Chief Guest, Dr. S. Jai Shankar, from the Blixen Affairs Minister, Government of India, Respected Pro Chancellor and Trustee Mahe, Dr. H. S. Salal, Respected Vice Chancellor, Lieutenant General Dr. M. P. Venkatesh, Pro Vice Chancellors, Registrar, other university officials, Special Invites, Professor Madhav Das Nalapat, Professor of Geopolitics and UNESCO Fisher at Mahe, Dr. Seshadri Chari, other dignitaries, faculty and staff colleagues, friends and faculty of constituent units of Manipal University, members of the media and students. Before I give my 25 years are your years to realize this thing. So what I'm going to talk about in a way is what are our expectations of all of you. Now what has made this possible? I believe because you know it's it's the first time actually we are talking not just of a term in office of a government of even a decade of, of progress or aspiration. We are talking a full generation and more. We are talking of an era. And we can talk today of an era because the achievements of the last decade have positioned us to do so. That this country actually has and, and the last decade has been a very difficult one, uh, and I, that's a subject on which I will also dilate upon. That the achievements of the last decade today have given us the platform to actually contemplate an era, to plan for an era, to strategize for an era, and obviously to aspire uh, for very big goals uh, on the centenary of our independence. So let me start with this decade itself. Uh, I don't know if some of you had a chance, if you have not, I would recommend it, uh, to watch Prime Minister Modi yesterday at the India Today conclave. You know, what he did was, instead of talking about 75 years, he said, I want you to think of the last 75 days. What have we achieved in 75 days? He said it, I don't want to repeat it, but I would really urge you to look at it. But I want to talk about the last decade. And I'm talking about the last decade, not so much as, as a report card, but as an explanation of the platform which will allow us really to contemplate the Amrit card, the 25 years ahead of us. The first big achievement, I think, has been a dramatic reduction in the intensity and the rate and the extent of poverty in India. That it is, it, this is not something anecdotal, though obviously all of us see it around us. It is, it's validated by research and studies. But what we have seen actually is not just a decline in poverty at, at an unprecedented rate, but an increase, an enhancement in what we consider to be the basics that an Indian citizen uh, should get. 
Now, a lot of that is reflected in the human development indices, in the achievement of sustainable development goals. And here, if you see, the, the 17 sustainable development goals have in the last decade been expressed in the form of national campaigns. National campaigns with which each one of you would be familiar in some form. You know, Swach Bharat, Beti Padao, Beti Bachao, Digital India, Startup India. Each of these, Jal Jeevan Mission, each of this is actually a national effort today to achieve what is a global goal by the end of this decade. And our progress will actually, in a way, be a determining factor for the world's success. And we have made commendable uh, progress here. Uh, in fact, uh, if you look at the scale of what we have achieved, Many of our programs actually cover multiple time 